Hello everyone. So I am Umang, and I will be giving you a quick walkthrough on the Skill India Independence Day internship. Okay, so we are offering 5,000 free online summer internships to help you get skilled. I hope you have registered for two, one or two of these uh, domains. Okay, now you are you have questions about how will you be giving the quiz, right? And what is the syllabus for that? So let me answer that quickly. First thing, you would be getting a mail from us with the login credentials of your quiz portal okay so quiz portal looks like this if i log in out of it what you see is essentially the quiz portal lighttechnogroup.spay.com now you have your email id you have got your password via us now you have to just log in you can do it on phone you can do it on a uh, laptop you have to go to my courses so if you are like me you have you would have registered for two programs so you would see something like this okay uh, now what are the slots when you have to give exams and what are the instructions for it if you click on any one of the program you can see the instructions okay the morning slot afternoon slots and evening slots are mentioned for that uh, each slot is open for 30 minutes but the time duration of a test is only 15 minutes okay you would be getting 20 to 30 questions uh, depending on different course uh, for that test now you can attend in any slot a morning and afternoon and evening it's up to you but you can attend only once okay uh, whatever is your first slot you have attended it in uh, that will be counted as your submission now if you go to morning slot it's not accessible right now correct because you will access it at 11 am and, and the access will be closed at 11 30. within that 15 minutes you have to complete your uh, program now how would the test look like now let me give you from another example okay so if you are going to get the test open first it will ask to start the quiz once you start the quiz it will give you instructions okay uh, save and next is the most important thing okay mark for review and next is another option and clear response so these are the three key things which you have to look into so start it now these are the three things save and next mark for review clear response you select one you clear response you select one you move you see questions here okay answered not answered on top is a question paper you can always see the question paper okay if you move save and next you would see it became green okay if you select and you say move and next it shows blue if you go to next question it remains red Okay, that is the color marking. You can always move from first question, second and third and fourth and so on. Once you submit, okay, it shows you the details and you click on submit. On submitting, it gives you how many correct, how many incorrect, how many questions you skipped and all that. And it will show you the questions. What was your responses? Now, once this is done, on the next day, we will be emailing you what each question which domain each question represented to show you what are your strengths and what are your weaknesses so that you can always work on that report okay on top of that we would also be uh, announcing on the next day the results of the winners now you know how to give the quiz now take a look at the syllabus quickly okay if you are from a mechanical design if you've selected that so the five six domains you have to look into is strength of materials manufacturing processes engineering mathematics kinematics and dynamics gears and cad in strength of material you would be looking at basic concepts of stress strain bending of beams shear forces okay then in manufacturing you would be looking at casting machining welding in engineering mathematics a bit of linear algebra differential equation matrices kinematics and dynamics you would be looking at degree of freedom and stating and dynamic analysis Gears, you would be looking at some basic terminal, terminologies, classification, applications, type of gear trains, etc. And in CAD, you would be looking at Boolean operation, basic sketching and 3D modeling. If you are in EV, uh, you would be looking at electric vehicle slabers, uh, which is fundamental of electric vehicle, uh, series parallel, hybrid electric vehicle, plug-in, etc. Understanding different types of uh, vehicles, types of motors. Basic electrochemistry, which includes cell reaction, cell internal elements, different types of cell chemistry, different cell mechanical structures, which is important. Then battery management system and active passive cell balancing. Okay, if you are from FES CFD, you would we you would need to prepare for a bit of fundamental law physics, Bernoulli's equations, differential versus integral approach, 
Langragian versus Eulerian approach, properties of fluids like types of fluids and also surface tension, capillarity effect, buoyancy effect. In FEA you would be looking at fundamental law of mechanics, some types of stresses, Young's modulus, Poisson's ratio, types of loading, water strain, stress versus strain curves, degree of freedom, type of forces, properties of materials. If you are into Python, you would be looking at data types, data structures, programming syntax and introduction to programming. Okay, so I hope uh, things are clear to you. Uh, all the best for the exam. It's on 15th. You have different time slots. You can attempt in each any time slots. Uh, questions would vary from 20 to 30. Uh, time would be 15 minutes. And I believe personally all of you can get a free internship for a month. Okay, so do not miss the chance. Take it to your friends. Learn it. Okay, and earn the program. Take care. Bye bye.